Good morning, Big Picture Elementary. It's Mrs. Tovar here, and I am bringing you your announcements for the week of April 6th, 2021. Um, welcome back from spring break. I hope it was a restful time for you and that you are refreshed and ready again for school this week. Um, let's start with our birthdays. Let me share those with you right now. Uh, we have a lot of birthdays this week. Um, starting with the second, we have Faith M in second grade and Elliot S in fourth grade. And then on the third, we have AJV in second grade. And then on the fourth, Cynthia S in first grade. So I hope you guys had a great birthday. Um, on the fifth, we have Sergio R in 12th grade. And then on the seventh, we have two birthdays. We have uh, Destiny W in 11th grade and then Damien N in sixth grade. So I hope you guys have a great birthday. Um, on the 9th, we've got Grace W um, in 2nd grade. And then on the 10th, we have Trinity G in ninth grade. And then on the 11th, we've got three birthdays, uh, Jacob C in 7th grade, Jasmine N in 2nd grade, and then Nehemiah S in 8th grade. So I hope you all have wonderful birthdays this week. The happiest of days to you guys. And then we do have one staff birthday um, that was on the 2nd, and that is Coach Oscar's birthday. So if you see him in any ASP clubs this week, make sure to tell him happy birthday. Um, but yes, moving on to announcements. Um, we do have our meal pickup times right here same as usual wednesdays you get uh, you can come to the school get a whole week's worth of meals um usually it's between 10 and 1 30 but if you have any questions you can call the office and they will help you with that um we got a big long list of names here for our spirit wear points uh right before we went on to our break we had a lot of people that were wearing their spirit wear on friday and uh I, there was more than even this, but these were the ones that I gave points to because I heard about all the people that were wearing it in their classes. So Mrs. Cole and Mr. Serrato's class got their point. Mrs. Duke's class got their point. Mr. Morrow's class got the point. Mrs. Petit, Mrs. Marshall's, Mrs. Funk's, Mrs. Luke's, and Ms. Scott's eighth graders all got their points for our spirit wear um, on the leaderboard. And I will share that leaderboard with you in just a moment so you can see how quarter three ended on there. But before I do that, a couple reminders. This week, aside from saying uh, welcome back from spring break, you also get the gift of a shorter week. You got four days this week instead of five days to come to your classes. Um, those classes are, however, virtual this week. There are no in-person classes at all um, on campus it, this week. It's all through Zoom. So. Um, you will see us on your screens. And then the following week, kindergarten through fifth grade are going to be joining us for the hybrid program. Not everybody, but just the students who um, whose parents have been um, talked to about bringing you back on campus. So there's still going to be distance learning. And there's going to be some students in our classes um, two days a week from 8.30 to 12.30. That's what this week is going to be about. If you don't already know, if you're on the green team or the yellow team, meaning you're coming on a Monday and a Tuesday or a Thursday and a Friday, you will find out this week. Your teachers um, all have their schedules that you guys will need and um, your parents got them in the mail. So you can check with that as well. But this week will be all about preparing you guys for um, starting the new schedules when we do our hybrid program. So that's coming up. But dun, da, 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 here is our leaderboard. We had um, a tie. Do you see that? Two circles, a tie. Two classes had 19 points. So it's kind of tiny. I don't know if you can see that, but that's Miss Marshall's class and Miss Burial's class. So. Bravo, guys. You guys had the most points on your leaderboard. And I don't know if you remember what that means, but that means you guys get pizza. So I will be letting you know when it's time for that pizza, but just know it is in your future. So um, congratulations, guys, and thank you for your participation. I do not want to discount all the other classes that had so many points and have worked so hard. You guys 
are all excellent and I love the participation and the spirit wear and the testing and all that. Uh, it just so happened that these two had the most and it was the exact same amount. So <laughs> congratulations to everyone and especially the winners. <laughs> um, moving on, we still have ASP clubs every day after school. Join a club. 3.30 or 4.45, you can hop on that link and spend some time doing something you like uh, with our ASP tutors. So make sure you join that. And I wanna give a special thank you to those who have popped into our yearbook clubs in the past few months, um, or anybody that even especially participated in making our yearbook for the elementary school, because without your help or your ideas, or your time, we would not have been able to have this yearbook submitted with me and Miss Vanessa. So thank you for all your help. And then we do still have Tutorial Hub as well. This says 11, it is not 11 right now. It's still one o'clock to six o'clock every day, but you can hop into Tutorial Hub and get help with anything that you are working on that, um, you might need help with. So make sure you can you can pop onto that link and get help with that. And then before we go, I would like to remind you of our Zoom expectations, uh, especially with this week being an all virtual week. We might need a reminder that you still need to come prepared to your Zoom. Be engaged in your Zoom classes with all the teachers that you have. Um, so that means Turn your screen on, talk in your microphone, and when the teacher asks for participants, participate and say something or type it in the chat so that they know that you are learning and you are actively engaged. Um, make sure that you are dressed appropriately to be on the screen. And then especially if you're coming on to campus in hybrid, you have to be in dress code. So this is good practice. Um, make sure that you have all distractions cleared out of the way so that you can just focus on what's in front of you on the screen and not what's around you. So um, practice that. <laughs> and then any classroom Zoom expectations that you have, make sure you are following those as well um, because that kind of is good practice for when you're back in class and having to follow class rules. So um, just reminding you of all that, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and that you are ready and excited for all the uh, changes that are coming. And I we can't wait to see you guys on Zoom this week and uh, reminding you guys that we are hashtag big picture together.